we are rolling, similar to the thunder. Nah. Can I replay an old joke? No. And the lightning strike. Those are great stats. Touche. Old Garth Brooks, amazing. It actually, it's no joke. <laughs> oh, maybe I won't have an old joke. No, no. All right, so we're gonna do a quick one today. Um, I'm sure a lot of people in the comments will appreciate the speed, veracity, tenacity, the somethingity. Specificity. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a quick weeknight snack or a really fantastic game day treat. We did a live on this the other day and people freaked out. They loved it, but I don't want to call it a crunch wrap. So no, I'm not gonna. Don't do that. I'm gonna call it a, someone gave me a bunch of fun names. A Nate bomb, which is just not. No, it, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna show you guys how to make a stack, a crunch wrap. It's basically all of those lovely burrito taco things that you wanna make, but all into a lovely you know. Yeah, a wrap. You know. just, just ring yeah, the bell. Okay. Ring the bell. Ring Here the bell. Go. These really are simple, so whether you're cooking for a few or a bunch of people, uh, you can do a ton. I don't know what I'm saying. No. Just get to the recipe. Maybe there's too well, many. Too, no, go. Go! Oh yeah! <laughs> Angel's wings almost died. Whoa, that was a... That is not correct. <laughs> That's not how it worked. Mm -mm. In case you missed it one of the last episodes, <laughs> every time a bell rings... An angel gets his wings! Had a fake one and CJ goes, well, every time... I don't even remember what you said. You, it was basically... <laughs> it was the angel dies <laughs> and <laughs> loses, loses his wings. Loses his wings. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, so no more tomfoolery. No. Now we are officially starting. The first thing you want to do is get your griddle preheated. Then we're going to get to our delicious ingredients. Today I'm using chicken thighs. I want to use chicken thighs because they have way more flavor and more fat. They're a little bit cheaper, but what I like is it gives you a much bigger range for success. Not a range for failure, a range for success. Uh, because of all that fat, it's gonna be a much juicier. Mm -hmm. They heard we were making yep. crunch wraps. You have a much bigger window for success, a bigger range for success. Because there's so much fat, there's so much flavor, we're not worried about drying out our chicken cutlets or our chicken breasts. So I say, CJ, use chicken thighs for this recipe. Okay. We're gonna add some olive oil, and we're also gonna add some of the tried and true tequila lime seasoning. I love this stuff, CJ. You love this stuff? Love it. Love this stuff. We're gonna be pretty generous with it. Then we're gonna grab a bit of lime juice. The acidity and the sweetness are really gonna help take that seasoning and our chicken thighs just over the top. Now, like I said, be generous with this. We wanna coat all sides. Now, I've got that beautiful griddle pretty hot already. You see the instant sizzle. We want that beautiful Maillard, that crust. We want that beautiful color. Then we're going to throw down some fresh pineapple slices. This is going to give us a really fun acidity and sweetness. I'm also going to throw down some thick sliced onion and add a bit of that seasoning as well. Now, today I'm using green and red jalapenos. That's mostly for color. They're basically the same heat. Once we have the caramelization on our pineapples, give them a flip. Once that chicken is looking glorious, give them a flip and it's sauce time. I'm gonna start with some sour cream. This is really simple and some of just the juice and some chipotles in adobo sauce. That adobo sauce is smoky, it's rich, it's a bit spicy and it is loaded and packed with flavor. I'm also gonna add some seasoning and a bit of beer just to thin it out. We want a really smooth texture so it can spread evenly in just a bit. Now let's grab our caramelized pineapple and our caramelized beautiful red onion off of the cutting board. Uh, oh, check out those peppers. See that car caramelization? Ca 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 caramel, I couldn't even say it. it was too beautiful. Too beautiful. <laughs> beautiful caramelization on our peppers. Uh, give her a little bit of lime juice over the top of our chicken and some of that leftover pineapple juice. This is gonna give us uh, almost like a candy coating uh, on the backside. If you want, you can add a bit more beer uh, just to make sure things stay lovely and beautiful. We're gonna pull all of our veggies off of the griddle and we're just gonna do a really rough chop. Uh, oh, if you have the uh, stems on there, go ahead and get rid of the stems before you chop everything up. Now we just wanna be kinda rough with it. Uh, I like to call this a pineapple pico. Uh, there's no tomatoes and pico typically has tomatoes, uh, but this is just as good. We're gonna add some cilantro to that as well. Once our chicken is done, pull it off. Uh, to the other side of our griddle, add some olive oil. Dude, the wind is coming Whoa, in. it is. The wind's coming. Wizard of Oz good thing, going good on. Good thing we're doing like a, a super fast video. Super fast, oh. continue. Just, can you continue. see? <laughs> well, that's it. It's over, wow. Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? Oh my gosh. 
All right, we need a boogie. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna throw down our corn tortillas. <laughs> uh, we're gonna crisp them up on both sides until they're nice and crispy. This is gonna take a few minutes. Let's go ahead and dice up all of our chicken, dude. It's serious business. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Go. This guy's attacking us. Yeah. Okay. We're back to the recipe. Now it's time to build. We're gonna start with our big uh, tortilla, big flour tortilla. We're gonna add some cheese and then some of our chicken to the bottom, then some of our pineapple pico, some cilantro, and a bit of our gorgeous, gorgeous sauce. You know, you don't wanna stack it too tall because we do need to wrap it. Let's put our crispy corn tortilla over the top, add some more cheese. Now this is important, the cheese is gonna help us stay uh, intact later. Give a crimp and a fold, making sure to have the cheese side down on our griddle. That's what's gonna lock our shape. I'm gonna grab my bacon press, throw it over the top, let it sit for three minutes or so per side, and we are done, my friends. Once the tortilla is crispy and the cheese is melty, give it a slice and it's time to eat. These really are simple to do. I mean, you could take these a million different directions with your toppings. Just the technique is really, really basic, and I'm sure you guys are gonna absolutely love it as much as I do. If you guys are on YouTube, be sure to click that subscribe button. Here comes the rain. Yep. Click the subscribe button. Be sure to click the bell icon to make sure you get every single one of our videos in an email form. Find us on Facebook, on Instagram, CJ Frazier. Speaking of bells. Oh. And there we're back. it is. See you guys in the next video. Later.